when something grows old and decrepit and stops working, rotting from the inside out? Should we mourn its passing or welcome the next thing? For me right now, this next thing is not some great abstract, but a very real and agonizing disfiguration. I can feel it working its every change in every cell in my body. I don't know that I welcome it. I don't know that I will survive it. But whatever does survive will be built up from the remnants of what I once was and who I once was.
you here for the program? Oh uh, yeah, I was thinking about it. Do you even know what kind of drug this is? No. Fuck. So as it turns out, this awkward moment of communication turned out to be my last human contact before the change. I recounted to this stranger how I was given an ultimatum to participate in the drug experiment or serve prison time. Of course, when I mentioned my criminal past, she asked, So what'd you do? Beat up a cop. If I had a choice, I would not be doing this. But prison is not a choice. So you'd rather uh, do some strange testing? Yeah. Shit. This one guy, he was saying it was um, sleeper agents. Okay. Like they're making agents and shit to um, like take out a lot of people and spread disease and stuff. So, whatever happens after this, I get the, the illusion, the white lie of being in control. I get that. When I was a kid, maybe 13, I killed a possum with an air rifle. My dad was gonna gas the poor thing when he got home. I pitied it and hoped I could end it faster and kinder than letting it sit for hours in a cage, just breathing itself to death. But I forgot that possums play dead. One bullet turned into a dozen, and a brief second shot became a frantic eternity of tears, blood, ragged breathing, and loading and reloading and firing off the rifle. The poor thing finally died about 30 shots in. I buried it, and months later, maybe a couple of years, I remembered the incident, but realized that I'd allowed myself to drive from my mind the possum's gaping, blood-dripping maw screaming in a silent agony. My greatest cruelty and injustice, my darkest deed, discarded as an adolescent embarrassment. Yeah, what I'm saying. You're a good 
So our paths cross again, and it looks like she's decided to go ahead with the isochem trial. But I can't stand by and let a comrade share in my fate of disease and death. The fuckers responsible for my degenerative metamorphosis must pay. But I will leave her unburned, unscathed, like an elemental salamander, untouched by the fire I bring. <laughs>